everyone. Wow, it's been a while. Great. I'm back. You see, I'm doing a lot. I'm just on a whole nother journey this time around. I know I haven't been consistent in my videos and my content, which um, I fought myself for that. You know, just staying in get my comfort zone and not uh, being consistent pretty much. But, you know, I'm just grateful at this point. I'm grateful. And once again, this is Bree, Bree the Lady. Um, Bree, Locks by Bree, Tangles and Locks, Natural Hair Boutique of Baltimore, Maryland. Bree. That's who I am. Bree, the Aquarius. Generational curse breaker. That's who I call myself. That's what I. They are the intentions that I set to myself, you know, telling myself the things that I want to see in my life, you know, but that's setting intentions, that's setting intentions, telling yourself what you want to be, what you want to see in your life, telling yourself what and how you want to act and do the things that you got to do here in this life these are called intentions intentions setting intentions we have to set intentions for our life we have to have a a uh a true north to where to where we are headed you know um within our mind as far as goal setting and things like that the great god always know our ending destination but we also have to still plan for our own destination as well, you know, to, so we can continue to keep our feet to the ground and we can continue building that momentum so, you know, uh, so the great God can connect and assist us in co-creating what we want out of our lives. So, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at today. Setting intentions, um, sending energy healing to your loved ones um like you know forgiving forgiveness like you don't always have to talk to a person to forgive them like you can really um our mind put it put it like this our our mind our mind which is the heart of our being our mind is the heart is it is considered a heart of our being because from everything that we see on the outside of us is a creation of our thoughts, our beliefs, and you know, our ideas of what our life is or what our life should be or what we feel that our life should be, you know. Thoughts are very powerful. Thoughts can create scenarios. Thoughts can create situations in our life. Thoughts, thoughts create me sitting here talking. Thoughts create you driving to work or, you know, going to the store. But our thoughts are very creative. So when we think a thing, it's gonna to come to pass, and whether it's negative or positive, but sending energy healing to our families that know, uh, no, let me, let me reword that. Sending energy healing to our families without always having to stay, you know, talk in their face or stand in front of them and say the things that you have to say. Um, you can think that person up in your mind and send that energy to them. Healing, forgiveness, love, protection, you know, just sending support, supportive energy, you know, to your family. You don't always have to call and say, hey, I'm sending this to you. Just try and think about them because I, I do it. I do it, you know, and then I seal it off by sending a heart or sending a heart to whatever loved one that's on my mind or if it's multiple at a time but you know in healing ourselves we heal other people you know we don't always have to be like i said in front of a person to send healing you know when we forgive a person we forgive ourselves as well you know because the things that that person may have did to offend you or you know or even if that person is hurt or downtrodden or needs some guidance, you know, whatever energy that you are sending intentions to your family for, I'm just saying, you know, just, you know, think, think about them, 
the same love and energy. But you always gotta breathe because breathing is key. When the great God created us, He breathed breath in our lungs. So that's the breath is what we use to send healing energy because the breath in the breath it, it is life and the breath is truth and the breath is positive energy is, is positive outcomes in our life you know because when we speak a thing so shall it be that that's just what it is you know so sending even when sending negative energy to a person your thoughts shouldn't harm nobody like they really shouldn't like i understand people offend us but we have to keep in mind that when we think negative of a person we create in that energy as well so um keeping the mind pure with love purr you know purr keep love on your mind for people you know digging up the old ways of how we used to doing things mean that how we think because like i said everything starts with thoughts so you know i'm here to try to assist us and myself and i'm doing it as well in changing thought patterns you know a lot of times as parents we have children that we want you know when we have children you know we want our children to, to succeed we want our children to become the best thing that they can be but also too we have to realize and i had to understand that your children has to go through the same process as we went through when we were coming up so you know some of the things that we might not agree with that's just probably part of their journey for them to get to a point to know how to use their thoughts in a right way meaning in a creative way and not in a destructive way you know so thanking the great god for this understanding over my life you know setting intentions sending healing energy and um loving you loving yourself you know always have to work on yourself because as we work on ourselves and you know i said selves because we have the higher self and the lower self okay but working on ourselves mainly the higher self um to build and strengthen that aspect of yourself the more attention that you give to a thing that's what what is going to grow so when you constantly keep putting your attention on growing your higher self or breaking up that old way of doing things meaning changing your thoughts changing your old beliefs you know changing what you feel is right or what you feel should it be you know just learning how to accept people for who they are because when you love yourself you start learning how to accept people for who they are and realize that everybody is not going to always be nice everybody's not going to always be in a good mood everybody has to go through whatever processes they go through but always be a supportive factor in the, the, their lives regardless so always sending forgiveness always sending healing asking the great god to forgive you for your sins and forgive you for your error because all sin is is error you know healing you from your error and your old beliefs because when we were brought up we were brought up on a set of traditions beliefs so when we grow up and get older and become adults we start carrying those same traditions and beliefs out so you know telling that mind breaking up all that old you know that old way of doing things old belief system old um um opinions old grudges like break up all of that so you know you can start setting intentions and planting seeds for the future because the thoughts affect now like uh, the thoughts affect now so if you're thinking good thoughts your life should be reflecting that if you're thinking negative thoughts your life is going to reflect that as well so even in our family lives we have to start thinking more creatively when it comes to speaking over our children, speaking over our um, families, speaking over our situations, speaking over our businesses, speak, you know, we have to change the, the language because words carry spirits. So I'm here today. I'm Bree. Once again, I will be, I'm, listen, I'm pushing to be on here more consistent. You know, there's a lot of us out here that's living and don't realize that other people need your gift and other people need your story you know so i'm here i'm just living this thing called life 
enjoying my new lock journey, my second lock journey, going through this life, having courage for the truth, and um, just changing one day at a time. With that, peace and love. Let me go on the shop. Once again, Tangles and Locks by Brie. I'm on Instagram. That's T-A-N-G-L-S and Locks by Brie. And I'm going to be more consistent with posting on there too. You know, I, I, you know, letting go of them old beliefs, y'all. Letting go of the old ways. So, like I said, I'm, I'm growing in this thing just like everybody else is growing in this thing. I just want to share my portion because I know for sure someone else probably feel the same way. So, with that, keep setting your intentions. Keep healing. Keep sending healing energy. Keep healing yourself. And continue to stay on a path of positivity and optimism. Because in that path, all things will work together for your good. And you will see beauty in each and everything that comes up past you. Meaning people, animals, nature. You won't realize the connection. So, set them, plant them seeds. Till up that soil in the mind. Plant them positive seeds. Send out positive seeds. So your harvest will be great. So peace and love, y'all.